Hey guys, how's it going? It's CJ9899 and I bring you new system test 11. Okay, so as you can obviously see here, the quick start is no more. Unfortunately, a couple days ago, I was trying to do some maintenance work on the system and it did do a CPU fault um, twice actually. But um, what I actually think is wrong with the CPU here is that the it just needs to be rebooted with the firmware because it di it only did it when I tried to do an action of some sort. It didn't do it like randomly when I came downstairs at one point. But I do have other CPUs because I got a boatload of parts from work. So I may try some other ones or maybe set this up for a demo system. But I bet you're wondering now though what panel I have for the main system. Well, it is actually a big surprise but we are going to save it for last. So, uh, yeah, but anyways, here's a bunch of quick start parts. You get cards, you got modules. This will be going off to Canadian Alarms at some point, so stay tuned for that. So, we're gonna start with the devices. So first, zone one here, we have a Simplex 2099-9750. Um, actually, I'm just also gonna mention the notification spot here. Yes, this is a mere tone bell, but I don't have it hooked up because the panel I'm using only has two NACs, and I took down the NAC booster, so... Um, actually, also, I figured I don't really need a notification appliance here. The two that are already there are fine enough. But yeah, that's just up there for show. Uh, smoke detectors are still the same. I haven't changed them out yet, but next system tests, they will be changed out. Zone 3, we still had the 4251 T-bar. I've seen this before. Alright, now, for the notification appliances, first off, we have this. This is the first time you've seen this on the main system. This is my Simplex 4906-91-something uh, True Alert remote strobe, and this is SmartSync, but actually, the panel that I have, well, you're obviously going to guess now it's a Simplex panel, but it does have SmartSync on it, so I can use two wire True Alerts and SmartSync True Alert strobes. So... For the oh, spot here, I picked my Simplex uh, 4903 9217 uh, horn strobe, uh, 110 candela, and also the strobe on this is set on smart sync, but they're still not going to sync. But because they both have to be on the strobe circuit, it's just going to be like pulsing the strobe. So, now for the panel. What did I pick for a new panel? Well, I have picked a Simplex 4006. Yes, this panel is awesome. This panel has five zones and two NACs, one re two relays, and this is the Canadian version, so it does have the um, annunciator on the front door, like most simplex panels do. But anyways, yes, this panel, um, I got it from work. It was in a new cabinet, but the CPU is used, but it works perfectly fine. So you can see, system normal, time and date. Um... Yep, the dress panel, I'm not going to take the dress panel off right now, but you can see the knack wiring in there, and uh, the batteries are down here. And, yep, junction box and everything, I know this is not really, this is just, uh, It's it, all it is is just uh, the wires, and I just wrapped it in electrical tape to cover it up. This is your ground wire, but uh, yeah, this thing works very well. Uh, it does have an extra piezo, which I kind of find annoying, but, you know, whatever. So... The system is set on code 3, so let's go ahead and just grab, actually I'm just going to open up the door sort of like that. Alright, and we're going to set it off in 3, 2, 1. Another nice thing that I have now on the main system is um, Simplex walk test, which I think is really cool. And we can re we'll actually go ahead and reset it because it does it's actually fairly quick to reset. Give it a second. There we go. 
All right, let's do the smoke detectors. And this is gonna be a little bit of a longer video. Actually, we're gonna do this one. Actually, we're just gonna leave it alarm and reactivate it. All right, now the back of room pull station. And finally, the panel smoke, which is the same. There we go. And we can reset it. So, that has been new, new system test 11. Uh, stay tuned for new system test 12, which will be sometime in the next week or so. Um, I also should mention that and, um, I won't be getting any out of the out of the in the field videos until more likely in August because in July at work I'm mostly doing stuff in the warehouse, but do expect it because I will be going out in the field mostly in J August. So, but yeah, anyways, this is uh, CJ nine eight nine nine signing off, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.